G'day guys, just a quick video today on how you can find a pinout using a multimeter. We'll be finding out which pins on our 4 pole 3.5mm jack go into which audio or video cable. Let's get into it. To start off, it's always good to have a pen and paper handy so you can write your results down. The image I attempted to draw was just the uh, 4 poles on our 3.5mm jack. The lines coming out of it are where we will label which pin goes where. You don't need a fancy multimeter for this. All you need is something that either has continuity, which is what we're using today, but if it doesn't have that, a basic resistance checker will do. I'll cover how to use both. So we'll just go into continuity mode, just press the button. Now check it works, just tap the two leads together and it should beep. If you don't have continuity and you're just using resistance, tap the two leads together and ideally it should say zero, which it does, or very close to zero, a very, very low number's fine. And that will tell you that you have the correct pin. If it's high or infinite, then you have the wrong pin. We'll put it back into continuity. So we'll start with the bottom ring on our three and a half mil jack. I'm just holding one of the multimeter probes against it, nice and firmly. You can touch it with your thumb. And then on the other end of our cable, I am just going to try all four of these ends. So the three tips and the ground. All the ground should be common. So that is ground, we can check on the other one too. And yep. So the bottom ring for us is ground. Again, if you are using resistance mode, hold it on. And on the screen, it should be a nice low number. And it is. So we've got ground done. We'll go to the next pin up, which is ring two. The way I'm counting it. Now, it won't be ground again, obviously. It'll be one of these tips. So we'll put it back into continuity just so we get the beep. So it looks like it is the video pin. And yep. So the second ring is video. Do the third ring. It's not going to be video, it's going to be one of these audio ones. And it just happened to be the white audio. And again, the tip should just be the red one. And it is. So that was nice and easy. We'll mark it down on our little bit of paper. And there it is there. Our bottom ring was ground. Next one up was our yellow video one. Up from that was our white audio. I'll just use a W. And the top ring was our red audio. This could be used for a lot of different purposes, including tracing pins on a PCB, which is handy for fault finding, or to map out which pins on a USB port go to which pad. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.